little YouTube nick here. Now browse Insidia after jailbreaking your iDevice, you're probably going to find a ton of tweaks available to you. Now basically these tweaks are going to enhance your iPod, your iPhone, your iPad in some sort of way. Um, now several of them might begin with the word Infini and CH Pwn, the developer of these tweaks, just basically created a series of tweaks that start with the word Infini. So for example you have Infini Dock which allows you to have multiple applications in your dock and also allows you to scroll across your dock like you are on your springboard when you scroll through the pages. Um, you also made another tweak for example called Infini Folders which again allows you to have multiple applications in your folders instead of the standard 12 applications whilst stuck on the Apple default. So they only allow 12 but Infini Folders allows several and obviously you can scroll up and down when having inf with ha when having more than 12 applications in your folder. Now, there's been quite a little bit of trouble between CH Pwn and Limnios, I believe that's how you say it, who created SB Rotator, which basically allows you to um, use your iDevice in either portrait or lands landscape, so you can have you can spin your device around and it works always, not just on applications but on your Springboard as well. And the problem was that those Infini tweaks didn't work with SB Rotator. Now, there's actually an app out there now from the guy who made SB Rotator called Scrolling Board, which we're going to show you today. And this application basically combines the two uh, examples I gave you of the, them Infini tweaks and puts them together with a few added little tweaks to it. And probably, in my, in my opinion, it's a much better tweak to have than the one that you're going to get with two applications from Infini folders and Infini Dock, so it's two tweaks in one and it's also a cheaper price as well than both of them together so let's actually go to Cydia, you go to search it's on the Big Boss repo so all you need to do is go to search and type in scrolling board and now you can see it right there scrolling board, we click that now you can find Scrolling Board on Cydia for $1.49. Support the developer because they might not make any tweaks in the future if you don't support them. So really support them and package, um, purchase it on Cydia. So it's $1.49 you can find it just typing in Scrolling Board or one word. So let's actually X out of Cydia. Now it doesn't leave a icon on your springboard. Um, it's in your settings tab. So we go to settings real quick and just show you the settings it gives you in the settings tab. Okay, so if you scroll down or up, depending on what you mean. Um, so if you scroll down and you see scrolling board right there. So if we click scrolling board and the first thing you're going to look or you first thing you're going to see is the dock options. So you can obviously have a scrolling dock like from Infinity Dock. You have iPod controls, so basically you can put those iPod controls which are on your multitasking bar on your dock, which is a really nice feature and I have that enabled and we will show you that in a minute. Start in iPod controls, so basically the dock is always started on the, the iPod controls. Page indicator, which I have turned on. Scroll indicator, so basically if you scroll up and down you see that bar on the side when you scroll. So basically when you scroll on your dock you see that at the bottom. Always show indicator. The bounce effect, you can change the bounce force, so how much it bounces when you scroll to a different page. Page in, icons per, icons per page, and icons per page landscape, so for when you use it with SB Rotator. Then we then have folder options, so you can have the scroll indicator again. Always show the indicator, bounce effect, bounce force, page in. And then we have springboard options, so the bounce effect and the bounce force. So that's pretty much everything in the settings. So if we actually take a look at the application and what it does itself. So here I have my dock as you can see. Now normally you can't scroll but now with scrolling board you can see I can scroll on my dock. And like I said I have iPod controls enabled so when I scroll you can see I have the iPod controls which you might find in the multitasking bar which is still there so you can still double tap and you still have the, the icon controls in the multitasking bar but that just saves you that double click you can just scroll in the dock and get straight to them and they all work very fine can, or fine you can uh, obviously use the portrait lock, the iPod, the iPod controls now one thing I'm going to tell you is really good attention to detail we won't, you won't see that um, is on where you have the little dots, the page dots they change when you go to your dock so in the middle you can see where it's like a white dot that is a little play button so it's, it tells you you're on your iPod controls 
and obviously when you scroll to your icons it goes to a square and it tells you when you're on, you're on your icons which is really nice little attention detail but it's just something that I noticed now this isn't included in the scrolling board application but if you go to Cydia you type in scrolling board SB settings doc I believe this will add another feature to the scrolling board application it's made by the same developer so it's all above board it all works fine it's on the big boss repo again and basically what this does is it adds the SB setting toggles which you have in your SB settings application so when you scroll and it brings down your SB settings it adds all them toggles to your dock as you can see so I've just scrolled one more over from the iPod controls and now I have all my SB settings tweaks and things what have you down here at the bottom so as you can see I have my brightness my processors my airplane mode and data now they are the bottom ones and obviously you can scroll up and down to get to the next ones that's a really cool little feature you can scroll up and down your dock to get to the different toggles so I really like that that's SB settings dock or scrolling board SB settings dock and that adds the toggles from your SB settings into your dock and obviously they all work fine they all work good you can click on them turn them off what have you so that's a really nice feature you can scroll up and down to get to which ones you like which ones you like and obviously you just scroll back over to get to the iPod controls so that is the pretty much everything from scrolling board that is included for the dock now let's actually take a look at the features which are included in scrolling board for the folders so you can have your folders and like so you, it looks like that pretty simple that's what a folder looks like and now we can obviously put more applications in to fill that folder up and obviously make it scroll or include the infinity folder feature so we just drag some icons in and now as you can see we have our 12 icons which Apple allow and obviously oh yeah I need one more hang on a sec so we've got the 12 I'll just put a few on a few more in so we have the 12 applications which Apple obviously allow now with its scrolling board you can scroll up and you can see the rest of your icons now for this feature of the folders you can choose whether to have pages like I have so when you scroll up it goes to a different page so you have 12 on one page then the next 12 on the next page or you can just have it in one scroll like infinity folders where you just scroll and then you can see all of them at once I have it on pages but obviously you can see I can scroll through my folders which is a really nice tweak so that's pretty much the folders thing there's nothing much more to that um, so big props to Limnios I believe I'm not sure how you say it um, but yeah big props to him with this tweak really nice looking tweak so that's it scrolling board $1.49 in Cydia go pick it up it's definitely worth it please support the developers it's pretty important to having more tweaks available to you in the future if you want that then obviously support the developer now so that's it have a great day thanks for watching it's Nick from mulgarifin.com and I'll catch you all on the flip side why did I say that?